In the starting scene of the movie, a king along with his soldiers chases a dragon to its lair. Upon entering the lair, the king sees something warlike. Meanwhile, the dragon attacks them with fire and kills all the king's soldiers one by one. The king has no choice left but to beg for his life from the dragon. The scene then cuts to centuries later, showing another kingdom. This kingdom is very close, where people are dying from a plague. The main character of the movie is a princess of this kingdom named Elodie, for whom a proposal from a prince of a very large kingdom has come today. Her father was very happy because he thought that if this alliance happens, the situation of their kingdom will change. Although not willing, Elodie agreed to this marriage to change the situation of her kingdom, and as part of this marriage, they set out to another kingdom. As they approach the island, they see some dragons within a sea storm. Eventually, they reach the palace. Elodie is quite impressed by this palace. Her welcome was arranged by a royal servant in this grand palace, and rooms were shown to them for their comfort. At night, while standing on the balcony, she notices a fire in the distant mountains. Anyway, morning comes, and the queen tells her father that she accepts this proposal and they will marry tomorrow. After this, they proceed to talk to each other, leaving the prince and Elodie alone. Elodie asks the prince if he is being forced into this marriage too. The prince replies, No, not at all, I find you very charming. As they talk, they reach a mountain where Elodie tells the prince that she saw a fire in the mountains on the other side. The prince says, Yes, that mountain is very important. Inside it, there is a cave where some old rituals of ours take place, which will happen even after our wedding, and we will go there on our wedding wedding day. In the next scene, we see that Elodie's dad was quite worried ever since he met the prince. When Elodie's mom asks her about her worries, she decides to talk to the queen, but someone is very cunning here. She doesn't talk to Elodie's mom about it, because she came from a small kingdom. She comes to her two daughters and tells them that she feels something very bad is going to happen. While talking, Elodie's dad also agrees, who was also taking part in the conversation while taking her mom away from here. It was obvious that he also wanted to hide something. In the next scene, we see the prince getting married to Elodie. She was going towards the mountains with the prince where she had seen a fire a few days ago. The prince had already told Elodie that there would be some rituals there. They reach inside the mountain where the people of this kingdom were already waiting for them. The queen tells Elodie that there is a dragon in this cave who had caused a lot of destruction to our kingdom 100 years ago and then one day our king decided to take revenge from it. They went to fight it but this dragon was very dangerous. No one ever defeated it. Our king couldn't defeat it either. To save his life, our king made a deal with it that he would give his three daughters to this dragon. After that day, this dragon never attacked our kingdom. Since then, we have been following this ritual. The queen then puts a cut on both the hands of the prince and Elodie and tells them that now you both are one. The prince picks up Elodie. Elodie's mom was also there, but she was also very happy because she did not know what would happen to her next second. The prince picks up Elodie and throws her into the pit where poor Elodie faints. When she regains consciousness, she screams for help and the sleeping dragon here wakes up at her voice. When no one comes to help Elodie, she decides to climb up but this place was very slippery. She kept falling down repeatedly. We see that there were many other girls stuff lying around here. Suddenly Elodie sees fire in the air. As she moves forward to see, she sees that some flying insects have died due to fire. The dragon asks her what her name is. When Elodie tries to tell her name, the dragon tells her that she has come here under a deal. In exchange today, I will kill you because I can smell the scent of royal blood coming from you. Before something bad happens with Elodie, she flees from there and dragon attacks her from above as he sees her running away. Escaping from Dragon's eyes, Elodie enters a small cave, but she wasn't completely safe from Dragon's fire. Her foot was badly burned. She tears her clothes and bandages the wound on her foot. Elodie couldn't accept defeat. She was determined to escape from here by any means. She starts exploring the place, and as she moves forward, she sees a blue light. Upon approaching the light, she realizes it's emanating from a crevice. Elodie wanted to go towards it, but there was a huge gap. With Dragon behind her and a pit ahead, she had no choice but to jump. However, her decision to jump was further jeopardized by a separate step. She was about to fall into the pit, but using the knife she had in her hand, she manages to save herself and lands on the other side of the pit. Here, she notices the blue light again. In reality, there were small glowing insects there. Elodie tears her dress again, making a torch out of it, dispersing many insects inside so that they act as a lamp for her as she moves forward. A little further, Elodie finds a small stream of water. She opens her mouth to drink, but suddenly, a fire attacks her from above, prompting Elodie to flee again. Elodie finds herself in another small cave and Drag remarks that she won't be able to escape from this place alive. Dragon was about to capture her when suddenly Elodie hears her father's voice from below. Hearing this, Dragon also rushes down from above to see Elodie's dad and Elodie also started descending to meet her dad below. On the way down, she comes across many broken eggs of Dragon and with a lot of gold. Seeing these things, she realizes that the story she was told, half of it was true and half was a lie that Dragon had killed their people. In fact, it was the opposite. When the king 
came here many years ago, he saw that there were three dragon eggs inside, from which three dragons were hatching. The emperor had ordered the killing of these three dragon babies, and dragon has been taking revenge for this ever since. This scene fades into the past. When the emperor was begging dragon for his life, then dragon had said to him that I also want to see you suffer, I will need three children from every generation to sacrifice, only after taking their sacrifice will I let you and your kingdom live in peace. Back to the present where Elodie's dad was calling out to his daughter, and at that moment, Dragon appears in front of them. They tell Dragon that I have come to take my daughter back, even if I have to fight you for it. I'm ready to fight, Dragon tells him, so call your daughter here. Elodie's dad says, Elodie, wherever you are, don't come here. Saying this, Dragon gets angry and he stabbed his nail in Elodie's dad's chest. Seeing her dad dying in front of her eyes, Elodie's mouth uttered the chief, which distracts the dragon. And he flies to find Elodie on the other side. As soon as she gets the chance, Elodie goes to her dad, who, while dying, was telling Elodie that I am dying because of my sins and you need to live. Go, your mom and sister are waiting for us on our ship. Saying this, they die and Elodie moves forward from here towards a chain. Using that chain, Elodie was going up and the dragon had also seen her. Avoiding repeated attacks of the dragon's fire, she somehow manages to get out of the castle. Now she was fleeing from there on her dad's horse. Dragon was behind her to attack with fire. She gets off the horse and hides in the mountains. In this way, she does not come in the eyes of the dragon. And in anger, the dragon burns her horse. In the distant palace, the queen was watching all this. She was also present at that time and says that all this is happening because of Elodie, and I will only stay after setting all this right. Elodie's sister on the ship, who was watching the fire on the mountains. Suddenly, the queen comes in and kidnaps Elodie's sister in this ship because her plan was now to save her kingdom from the dragon by sacrificing Elodie's sister instead of Elodie by giving it to the dragon. Elodie's mom, who tries to save her daughter, left her by stabbing with a knife. The next day, while hiding, Elodie also reaches her ship where she meets her injured mom. The mother says, I am fine, I will take care of myself. You go find your sister, who is going to sacrifice herself in front of the dragon for you. Here she tells her mom that our dad is also no more. After telling this, she immediately heads towards the cave because she knew that the queen would have gone to the cave with her sister. In fact, the queen, with her hands and Elodie's sister's hands cut off, mixes her blood with her blood and throws her into the pit and the dragon catches Elodie's sister. By this time, Elodie had also reached the cave, but no one knew about her because she was now preparing before going to the dragon. She first ties a lot of shiny insects around her and also takes her dad's sword with some weapons present in the cave, which could help her fight the dragon. She wants to know if the dragon has not killed Elodie's sister yet. She was sitting with her dead children and telling Elodie's sister that their elders killed my children and now their daughter Elodie will make them restless by sacrificing her. I know she will definitely come to save you. I will enjoy killing her more than killing you. Here Elodie makes noise outside to distract the dragon, which alerts the dragon of her arrival, and as soon as the dragon goes to find her, Elodie comes to her sister here. Before this, Elodie takes her sister away from here. The dragon arrived here. Elodie tells dragon that we were lied to. We were told that you were attacking their kingdom, but the truth was that they had killed your children. Dragon says whoever it is, I will take revenge from your elders only then I will take it from you. Elodie says, no, we are not their children. Before this, Elodie tells dragon something, dragon attacks her, due to which when Elodie moved behind, falls into the water. Now she was in a lot of pain. Fractured catches her again and hurts her with her nails, and this time to save herself from a big injury, Elodie attacks the dragon's eyes with her sword. Dragon gets angry with this attack. As soon as he throws Elodie away to attack her with his fire, his own fire starts burning him from the stones present there. Dragon was badly injured by the fire, and now Elodie tells him, see, my hand's wound was inflicted like this, and our blood was mixed with theirs to make royal blood and was presented in front of you. We are not really their children. They are living peacefully in their home, and they are sacrificing innocent girls like us, and what good have you done with them? Just as they killed your children. Similarly, you are also killing someone's children. After knowing the truth, Dragon gets very sad and says that my punishment should be just to die, then kill me. But here Elodie doesn't kill him and uses the small insects she had cut from the cave to apply them on the dragon, which heals the dragon's wounds. After this, she went to the real traitors to take revenge. That is, to the prince and queen in that kingdom who had deceived her by throwing her in front of the dragon in the guise of marriage. Here, the prince was preparing to sacrifice another girl in front of the dragon by deceiving her just like her. Lodi tells her the truth and tells her to run away from here, after which she tells everyone standing here that whoever wants to save their life should leave from here. The queen says, hey girl, do you think if you saved yourself from the dragon, you could scare us? Alone, what harm can you do to us? I'm not alone. As soon as she says this, the flying dragon comes up to the palace. The dragon had already destroyed the entire palace along with the royal family here. Her revenge was now truly complete. After this, in the last scene of the story, we are shown
shown her sister and her mom. They are preparing to go to their kingdom and Elodie now tells her mom that I am confident that you will handle the treasures of this kingdom along with our kingdom very well in place of my dad. Hearing this, her mom is very happy and these people set off for their kingdom where that dragon was going as Elodie's dragon. And showing this, the story ends here.